What are we? Is this Cowboy for Games still? No, this is the Cowboy. Alright, let's go. Welcome back to our second, uh, which will be, I think it's our second. Our second mm-hmm. annual. Our second annual Pokemon podcast. Uh, uh, my name is Blake from Blake Goes Face. I'm here with Bragg. Bragg Of Braggio. That's what they call me in the big leagues. In the big leagues, uh, yeah. with your massive YCS City return, I assume. I'm still at Pokemon Go. Oh, of course, yeah, that's fair. How's Pokemon Go? Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to get into that? <laughs> get a, a look. It, it's so quiet because of <laughs> 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 I saw it's yeah. It there's and that's what I think they're they're rerunning an event, kinda. They're doing the Ultra Beast again. I think just because. Why not? We'll we're, all, we're all doing something else. But there is a lot of news and a lot of stuff going on in all three facets of the game right now. VGC, mm. TCG, and for Go. Um, they're the only facets of the game. Don't worry about anything else. Cough, cough. Um, yeah, that counts as VGC. That's, that's yeah. It's a Scar... Yeah, Scar Joe? <laughs> Scar Violet? SV? There's no good abbreviation. Scar Joe. Scar Joe. Scar Joe. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so yeah, so we thought we'd come across, and I think... I want to do probably once every two weeks from now until uh, the end of February because we're going to have so much stuff going on uh, yeah. and I would like to try and pull in Loz. I'll pull in... It's, I'm not going to pull in Lewis. It's not going to happen. I, I'll try, but it's not going to happen. We we can um, surely get one out of him. Yeah. Tom as well. There might be a bit of VGC yes, chat. Yes, yes. Uh, Tom, Andrea... I'm pretty sure we can get Ben into it. Yes. He's susceptible. Always. Mm-hmm. But I think uh, what's probably good to start with is that we've had a lot of Scarlet and Violet stuff. So yes. uh, you'll probably be a little bit more versed with it than I am. I'm not too far through the game yet. Oh, um, really? Yeah, yeah, I'm about. Uh, I've hit Area Zero just um, this afternoon. I was skipping everything. And yeah, so I finished all the challenges last night. I've been really about 30 hours, I think, into it. Very fair. So Very fair. Cool. I think that's quite low. General. Because it's, it's, it's a week. Yeah, yeah, we're actually, yeah, we're almost exactly weekend. Actually, the so the data I have on the sales was <laughs> taken over three days, I think, maybe yeah, a yeah. little bit, a little bit earlier. And it's a bit because how long did it take Sword and Shield? Three days. Yeah. Uh, it it, it hit week. ten. I thought yeah. it was like five or six days. I remember it being single digits, but I have no idea when. It's so weird because Sword and Shield had. A way it had a bigger presence, I feel. Yes, especially as the first Switch one. Yeah, um, this this kind of everyone was like, yeah, yeah, I'm cool, and I can talk, I can they would talk about it, but it just didn't seem to have the same groundswell. So for it to hit, yeah, you so said yeah, so it hit 10 million sales in three days, making it the biggest Pokemon launch ever. Okay. Um, that will probably move into uh, a little bit more talk about it later, but uh, for now, I, I will say I've seen so much more online presence for this than uh, any other game so far. Yeah, actually. And it comes along with the fact that the game is broken, um, but I think it has worked for itself. Um, so, general overview, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Yeah. I don't know where I put it um, in terms of... I... This might be superstition, but I'm enjoying it. But when I go a little bit, I get headaches. Yeah, it's a bit much. The frame rate, the frame rate is yeah. atrocious. And I heard, I so I heard, play it handheld, which is hilarious because I would. Uh, so I heard that it like is a little bit more stable when it's at thirty frames and it's in handheld versus when it tries to push sixty frames on a dock. I didn't think about what our TVs are doing. That's interesting. Yes, um, I heard it, it's actually a little bit better of an experience, which is wild to me. Because I've played a fair amount on TV, like I did yeah. about five hours on it the other day and didn't have problems. But oh, I okay, cool. I'm gonna I would always default to doing it on my monitor. Like that's just how I would. Well, I'm still on the original Switch. Same. So, ooh, so yeah, doing like half hour on that, I feel a bit, and eh, I'm not really enjoying it. So I'm not sure if it's a graphic thing, yeah, an output, like because it is trying to render a lot. It's yes. It, for no apparent reason too, like it's because you, it, you still walk up and they still fade the assets in mm. I'm surely they don't need to make them active but I guess for them to check what outbreaks and for that live mini map that doesn't really work no not really like and or serve no function for them to power that I think that's why they need yes. to have the spawns loaded too so and, we're getting into the weeds yeah. in, in a technical <laughs> way which is really important because I think the biggest thing that is talked about with this game has nothing to do with the game at all except for the fact that it's broken and how many issues are with the game? I think, as I said, IGN just put their thing out saying 
fantastic game, but it's unfinished. Yeah. Um, I got like super heated during the week and was like all grouchy because I think there's like uh, blame being put in the wrong areas. Uh, and I did double check this just because I wanted to. But my whole thing with this right now is that I think we've been very aware for a while that Pokemon has, I think, I think Game Freak itself has about 140 to 150 on board staff. Yeah. Um, so when criticizing the game, I'm very big on like, I'm going to criticize the design things that they could have changed, not the design, the, not the technical things that they couldn't. I will criticize the higher up. Like, someone has to make a call at some point at um, Pokemon Company that a board of 140 a board a group of 140 people can output amazing concepts and stuff but what they aimed for what they could achieve what they have like what they should respect on Pokemon as the biggest franchise ever yep. like they could afford the respect to you know put more into it whatever they put into let's go so okay so so <laughs> I'm so happy you said this because this is my, I'm so happy you said that so I checked because Breath of the Wild and Xenoblade, I think, are the two things that it gets compared to in terms of what the Switch can output. Yeah. Um, basically, if nobody cares, the way this works is um, Game Freak will go to either the Pokemon company or Nintendo, which is their publishers, and be like, this is the game we want to make. Uh, what budget can you give us? What time can you give us? And both of them will say, we'll give you 40 mil for three years, and you're going to give us a game at the end of that three years. We'll have updates. That's just... Unless there is some negotiations that can happen, you can kind of push back a little bit. But for the most part, in terms of Activision, EA, Nintendo, the big hitters, they'll say, this is your time from this is your budget, go. The fact that they haven't allotted more budget and time frame, because Sword and Shield was at 30 to 40 mil on a budget, whereas Breath of the Wild had 90 to 100 mil. And I, that, it, it's, it's night and day. And you, you can, you 90 can just, to 100 mil, that's... That game that was still a profitable game, yeah. It was, it, incredibly, yeah. Yeah. yes. It, it, in saying that, uh, it, it is a risk. I think um, Sword and Shield had to sell something along the lines of thirty to forty million copies before they saw profit. When you take out everything in terms of distribution, like all well, of and this, that's, shit. and that's where Pokemon surely understand that the game is the game. I, you're selling p bits of cotton <laughs> yeah, for like you've got plushies, you've got te the, and you, you the cards go with it. Yeah. Three hundred pound and the and the cards that run alongside it. The it's, the the show you're gonna wall. make. There's there's so many. So my my point is like, there is blame to be had. It's just not on the 140 people that have worked their absolute ass off to try and like like in in fairness, if you wanted the game to run better, you can hire 40 more programmed like or like hardcore just straight up coders and go listen we want this game to be as optimized as humanly possible hire it like just in the weeds Could you're game just gonna sit here spend their 40 million dollars better this is still an executive oh, level so, not a so, yeah not a and, and this is why let's go i think is really important in that 40 i think the design things i have a problem with this in, in this game that hurt them was again uh -huh. how big their world is yeah if they had reduced that world side or at the bare minimum reduced it to maybe not even routes is again small but look what they did with let's go they went this is the the actual size we want these areas to be we can work with these sizes we yeah. can make it run really well we don't have things popping in and out that are like super obvious we don't have frame rate issues we don't like there are things you can do with that budget that would allow a prettier and nicer and easier experience you don't have to go look how big we can make this world look how huge like look at all these there are so many barren areas of this game yeah it just it's so barren and i'm like you have this like you they could like i mean maybe in a patch which that's probably a whole other argument of yeah. that they can fix up spawns and yeah. changing yeah. locations and stuff like i come from like with pokemon go oh there's barren yes it's like yes oh look at this i'm gonna go so much but so nothing but it's actually, it, and it, it is, in terms of, like, general battling, I think Pokemon design, um, trainer design, game, uh, like, game design changes, so, like, design to where Pokemon centers are, um, quality of life stuff, I think they've done a really, really, really good job. Yeah. It, like, quality of life-wise, I'm having uh, a great time. And also, all three plots yeah. aren't, aren't intolerable. No, no, and, and, and again, I, I at think... no point felt... <laughs> 
rage. <laughs> yeah, uh, Pokemon Which has I've had, had like, in previous games. It's it's hilarious because I think they've had really good story design and also really poor. Like I think yeah. they've had both, and this is not on the level of like. Yeah, this is it, it's it's a problem. It's underwhelming. Sure, the first. Oh, it's fine. The, the, the three plots. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, no. I felt rage at the bloody chick, the rival. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. like her, but for the most part. Nobody liked well, Hop either, and that's so fair. The, the rivals have not but been Hop, good. In defense of Hop. In defense of Hop. That two Jim arc that he was feeling down on himself and depressed, and yeah. he was like think, saying how shit he was. I'm like, I'm down for that. I like my rival knowing they suck. Yeah, and the, uh, their brother but being then the he champion. His and mind, I'm like, like, oh, it's no, like I'm friendship. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm friendship. I'm yeah. back in the game. I'm like, fuck, yeah. I liked you when you were depressed. But that was just a yeah, and and they Pop have was had... entertaining. I'm like the uh, black and white ones. Yeah, you know. Um, and I think the the so far from what I know of like the villain arc of this, it's okay. It's nothing special. Um, it's okay. Um, we're not the villain arc is, but we'll we'll yeah. we'll talk about plot and eh, after regions. after yeah after people have had a bit of time. But as I said, because of all the glitches that we've seen, where it's um. The only thing I won't excuse is um, clipping, because clipping is not a render problem. Clipping is a is an environment problem, and if yeah. you can't put an environment together properly, like any good art, any AAA artist should be able to put an environment together properly. Um, right. It's a problem between the character model and the ground, um, which I don't know how. In saying that, I don't know how they rig their character models. I Japanese. Um, dev in, in its entirety is not really studied like we don't know too much about it other than if you go to work in Japan and there's a reason westerners don't work in Japan very often um they're not oh, they don't they're like the, I, I know people have like said it's a hiring thing it's just they're not trained in the same way at all no, and they yeah, just don't go so just... I don't know too much about it but I do know that that's not like a. it's not a we didn't have enough time and money that's genuinely like that, that quality assurance should have covered that i've fallen through the ground i think like yeah five or six times already and i'm like what um or all my pokemon are just like yeah be gone <laughs> yeah it's i just feel like they could have more people i don't think you need to hit like i know like it's like oh let's delay it and that's what they did they they sneakily did with arceus yes true that was yes, true. that worked out for him yes like but I do like my November releases for Pokemon. Yeah, it's, it feels... It, it, so it's like, I feel like... You hit the holidays. I feel like, that. hey, let's go Let's go two years to build a game, and if you can't do it in that time period, get more people in. Like, come on. Hi. It's, let's, and it, let's get yeah, this going. It, it is crazy. Spend it's their biggest money. franchise. It's, Spend it's, the money. And I think Sword and Shield people kind of had issues with, but I did like the fact that Sword and Shield went, here's a big area, here's a bunch of cities. Like, you can go into the cities, they load properly, everything's yeah. there. They had routes, they had... It, it, and There was things thing, to do. But there's, like, I'm still not going to be... Do, I'm not going to hold it against this game completely because hopefully a patch will fix a fair a amount of this in that yeah. and then I'll be playing... Because I will be playing this game for a while that I know that eh, in a year's time this probably won't be a problem. I'm mad. Take it as it comes. I, sh- I expect yeah. a little bit better, but yeah. at the end of the day, it isn't the end of the world to cover up. What is an okay game? And at, and the sales speak for themselves. Like just bluntly, if it's a, it's unfortunately this little bit of a self fulfilling prophecy where because of how good Sword and Shield sales were, it's really hard to go to um, any kind of producer or especially in terms of you like the head companies making these games and saying, "Hey, can you give us double the budget?" And they go. But your last game sold the best out of any Pokemon game, and we gave you twenty mil. Shut up, go make it to yeah. forty. Like, like, it's really difficult. Like, yeah. it is. In saying that, again, it's their biggest franchise. Do spend the g- money, give them it. But it, it is very difficult because people are having a lot of fun with the game, and it is selling insanely well. Uh, it's also selling switches. In set, like the Switch um, bump. For I think the last well, even I month, the, like I bought, like I bought the OLED. I'm like, oh yeah. shit, I enjoy and this And it's game. worth the Switch is catching like the biggest consoles ever. The Switch is ca- catching the PS4, and the PS4 had six years on it. Oh, it's, it's Switch um, that generation. It's yeah, yeah. Oh. I would, I would classify that. Wow, because Switch was five, six years ago now. What about the Wii U? Yeah, I was going to say the Wii U. Wii U. No. 
Um, oh, that was atrocious. But it, it wasn't good. Um, they, it, we didn't have a Pokemon game on the Wii U, right? Yeah. And there's the problem. Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. yeah. yeah no. No, the only no. Um, but I would like to see where it goes, and I think it. W I think it has legs. Like I think the people will be playing this game for a long time. Mm. We'll see what they do with VGC. We don't have much information on what the format's going to be. Yeah, um, but. It the competitive aspect of it seems really approachable like giving like the feather mints like everything is just there we're not gonna make you sit and grind for and I, I guess you can do raids and stuff like this to get perfect by these yeah um, like it's, you don't have to yeah, breed it them. seems way more accessible and I'm hoping that kind of filters through because I think so yeah why, why not we will get a national dex I think for the first format we always do um, so it just depends what people find um, I I hate to say it, I don't imagine it's going to be the most balanced thing in the world, or that they had a lot of time to balance out um, a lot of their national deck stuff. But nothing's oh. really come crazy at me. Maybe. It just depends on how good things are against themselves. Yeah. And, and that's that's always a thing where people will find crazy things in the game, but how consistent they are against that. themselves, ah, it should be right. Uh, but, other than that, I think, Pokemon Go wise, I don't know what has been introduced in for Scarlet and Violet. If there is a um, lot. We had the Gimme Ghoul promo uh, a couple weeks ago where we can get the coins and then it all went like quiet and they said next year you get. Sure. And I was like, oh, thank you. And yeah, now it, it's a bloody, it's a Sun and Moon event. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's very much, it's off with like Masters. Oh, it's no. off. We don't talk about we're, that. We don't talk they're about just that. doing their like, they're just yeah. doing their own thing now. They're not like the cross promotions are so weird. Yeah, it's it's a shame. Oh, we got. Well, I'm I'm running around the school uniform. Cool. Which can is has anyone like I haven't had a proper look. Can I not wear a school uniform? No, I think you don't have to wear the uniform. Damn it. You can wear like the four different uniforms. Yeah, yeah. like okay. and, well, the winter one looks alright, but. It's fine. I want to be shorts in the in the mountains. It's just, shorts in the mountains is the play. You don't wear long but pants I, in the mountains. But as I said, we'll get um we'll grab a couple of the other boys that like. We'll try, I'll try and get Luke. I'll try and get Laws. Um, if anybody wants like a severely in depth look at this game, they're deep in Endgame now. Lewis is deep in Endgame. He hasn't said another uh, Cat with a Gang affiliate uh, person in here to bring on. Well, when they finish the game. Uh, when I finish the game, uh, I'm the only reason I'm here is TCG. I, I haven't. I'm not deep in the weeds with this game yet. But um, who else? Is there anyone in Cowboy for Game that like will be oh, deep in this game besides these two? Jake? Surely not. <laughs> yeah, let's get the Jaker on here for for one. <laughs> it's so good. Tom trying to dupe Jake into starting his um his Scarlet copy. Yeah, and yeah. like and doing all the early games. Oh, we can get Tom, and, and then yeah, yeah, we can get Tom. Yeah. It'll be fine. But. In TCG, we have a... Uh, uh, You're going to bring Josh on? World... Nope. We have a world... <laughs> I don't need... Listen. Josh is on a tirade right now of just making poor decisions, and I'm trying to steer him in the right direction, but he's just... He's becoming the Logan of Pokemon. Has he moved on to Lugia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. He's doing the Logan of Pokemon where he's like, I've run the Calc, and 5% of the time you prize this card, so I'm not going to play... I'm like, shut up. Oh, so yeah, he doesn't want to lose the 5%. What, wait, pr pricing what? In, in He's talking about like Archeops and stuff. But speaking of Archeops, so we've had Silver Tempest release in Australia officially. Yeah. Um, it took a little bit longer. We've had issues, unfortunately, because Silver Tempest was delayed. Australian players going to Sao Paulo for LAIC, which will be the Ooh. first big event post Silver Tempest, um, is a problem. We've had like a bunch of Australian players really struggle. Even Cherry sponsored Australian players struggle to get cards um, which is not what you want at all but I think everyone's good people left I think yesterday and today couldn't um, I mean couldn't they just get the play with proxies and get the copies on the day take the punt do it um, do it but we've had I think four or five really big online events so far mm. um, they're the late nights and limitless opens or whatever they're called uh, which so far it has been really diverse it's been a lot of lost box like yeah. a lot I was going to say box. what I saw was about 50, like it's lost like it's lost versus Lugia yeah? um, yes and, and I didn't see any Reggie Drago list did I? Um, no no Reggie Drago no um, so far I think is the light is light being is light being doing the right things yeah oh, I thought it was lighting at first nah it was this thing oh. it's been playing up hmm 
It doesn't want us to. It doesn't want us to talk about this apparently, because it was fine the whole time. I wonder if it doesn't like Lost Box or it doesn't like Lugia. Lugia is. It, it feels weird. Uh, okay, I got it here. So it's just Arceus two. Uh, it's just doing a. Di- it's listen. Yeah, um, I, I think it's we, different steps. It's just a similar yeah, place. Yeah, style. you're walking towards the same direction, but one is like used with basic energy. One is used with um, with special energy, right? It's just so it just powers. Okay, so I got, I got a couple. Okay, I got a couple of late nights because I just wanted to properly have a look. Um, the there is t- a lot of Tina as well, which is strange. Tina does hit Lugia perfectly, which makes sense. It's two eighty, two eighty. Um, so it does make sense but I think LAIC is going to be pretty much all Lost Box and Lugia um, there'll be some Tina and a lot of Mew uh, there have been three really really good Mew's um, last stand legitimately there have been three really really good players play Mew in online tournaments they get and the, they go um, 5-0 against Lugia like right. he, they didn't lose so they've got the the, the... Base our tool now, yeah. Yeah, the forest sigil stone. I've it, it was called the sigil in Japanese. I, I haven't seen this. the card in my hand, so I don't I know what it's I, called. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it looks like they're playing a control list against Lugia, and it's working out really well for them. Um, like Azul went six, like won a tournament, but in that tournament went six zero versus Lugia, hmm. um, which is just indicative. Like you would expect to lose one or two just because Lugia did Lugia things, um, but. The way the deck functions with the amount of consistency it has, um, there is bricking problems. There just is. And it's very similar to Arceus in the way that um, against Fusion Strike Mew or against Lost Box, if they go early and they boot a Lugia or they boot an Arceus, you're just in the worst place possible. Yeah. And there are completely dead hands. Um, the lack of draw in the deck hurts a lot actually that's a good point um the, it's it's like you've got serena you've got ball searches and you've but got S- you, serena you shouldn't be leaning on for your draw you've got prof research as well which isn't good yeah i it it, it is honestly really hard especially like in some in some builds you just go oh, i don't want to think about it. prof in it's right and and ditching like arceus to find the other bin, draw engines come on come on come on ditching arceus to the bin is okay um Archeops, rather, sorry. Yeah. Uh, ditching Archeops to the bin with the Professor's Research is nice. The issue is, opening up any energy in the deck and putting it into the bin, it's so bad. Because there's no... At least in Arceus boxes, right? You, you have a way to put the uh, basic energy back in the deck. Yeah. So you can keep going. There's no way to put the special energy back in. Unless you're using a really bad supporter. Yeah, I was going to say, it requires supporters. Yeah, it, it doesn't... Even the support options we've got are only like Roseanne's backup, which puts one back or um, Clara which I think even Clara's might be basic still um, and it puts it in the hand so it, it literally yeah. doesn't function so there is consistency problems with the deck I think it's still so strong that it's still topping your, your Veltol is a huge problem um, even though some lists are like iffy on it but yeah. your Veltol, Raikou and itself it, there's such good attacking options yeah. that you kind of get put in checkmate a bit too often there are just times where the deck just Rikers opens and really you good go, in that mirror, actually. It's really good. So that's why the Dunsparce is used. But Dunsparce is both players. Lewis pointed out to me yesterday that Dunsparce is both players' active Pokemon, uh, active oh, yeah, colorless yeah. Pokemon, don't have a weakness. Yeah, so then you got that takes um, out of the equation. Yeah. So Ooh. it has a lot of options. Uh, I think... Not going to give it like too much thought, but I'm pretty sure me and Lewis are both going to end up playing it for Brisbane, which is next week. So we'll have our first regionals next week. We'll see what everyone's playing at LAIC and adjust accordingly. If Mew does really well, it'll get countered. If Lost Box does really well, it'll get countered. There isn't too much you can take in for the Lugia matchup. There's nothing that like hard beats it besides Path. Um, and then we have Pubkaboo. Well, Path's Path. Path like... is Path. And there are Lugia lists playing Path right now because it's so good to flip the V-Star. And yeah, Path, path is... Like, that's not a... It, yeah, it, it it hurts almost everything in the format. Um, yeah, except maybe Lost Box, I guess. You've got to just have your part, uh, your yeah. plan for it, and move on. Like, yeah, nothing really does. Like, what could you tech in to seal that deal? Because obviously the dunce box so, does not feel um, the weakness. Lost Box does do Raikou V. Uh, Raikou V is a is really hard to deal with for the deck if you don't have dunce pass. Um, well, yeah, I mean, you should yeah. get your dunce passes. Pay pay your respect. 
Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Like, you need to respect the, the lightning options if you don't. We, there is like, like massive sure, issues. It, you can you can fluke it and you not match up those things and you never need it in the first place. But come on, pay uh, your respect. There's the other thing is Lost Box has a, a I would say a positive matchup versus the versus the deck. However, there is a tech at uh, there is a tech against Lost Box uh, and I'm gonna just show it to Here you on the. Oh my god! Uh, it's really good. Have you seen this? I mm, uh, hold on. So so read the attack. So I'm looking at... Wait, so just the attack. You are what? <laughs> Stoutland V. Double... Double Dip Fangs. Double Dip Fangs. Is very good. Yes. If your opponent's basic Pokemon is knocked out from damage from this attack, take one more prize card. So that goes... Yeah, so you can just speed right on through. Uh, it's got two ten health, which is uh, a big deal as well. So yeah. essentially, what you do is you put two powerful on it. It hits for eighty, uh, and then you just start knocking out compies. Yeah. And you go two, 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 end the game. Uh, they can only Ooh. two tap it. They can only two tap it unless they're playing Tina. Uh, and if they're playing yeah, Tina, you laugh at them because it, it just makes it makes the price structure a lot better because you go put it down, load it up. Bring it in, kill a comfy. They kill you with Tina or they kill you with Rayquaza. Uh, you go, all right, whatever you've just killed me with, I kill you. You're now 2-4. Oh. And then you got 2-4-6. Yeah. Very comfortably. Uh, or you go 2-2-1-1, two, two, one, one, which isn't a problem. So just... is that... Are you running... Lost Box is a minute? bad matchup. Yeah, so that just turns... Um, so the other uh, the other thing is Rayquaza Lost Box, which is a very Japanese list. Yeah. Um, I love it to death. It's a single prize attacker that does so much damage. It fixes the problem of not having the um, Tina. I love their deck so much. Why yes. can't we just do that? Um, <laughs> the lost boxes I've other uh, like the straight locks box lost boxes I've seen topping aren't amazing. There's just no like damage output in the deck. Yeah. That I like. Sableye no, over and over and over is not enough. You're trying to do the two hits and it's just not bring back and it's just the but I think we're going to see an overwhelming presence of Lugia only because it is just like flat considered the best deck right now. It can play every. Wait, an overwhelming tech presence of the top tables. Is there enough copies of Lugia in the country now for it to be? I don't think so. A presence in the rest of the world. People room? have a week, pretty much. It got like there's pretty much a week and a half. Jeez. I think we're out of eBay range at this point. I think even you can get stuff expressed. Um, oh, but that's that's still too chancy. I was I so the second maybe yeah. I should vend. Uh, <laughs> the other thing I is, mean, wait, I, is I that think... allowed in this game? Am I allowed uh, to go spruiking cards in this game? Maybe. Yeah. yeah, I think so. <laughs> At events, yeah, I think so. I don't think people mind. Forget the first half of this po podcast. God bless you, Pokemon. Company. Yeah, we love you. Thank you. <laughs> let me let me uh, let me just sell everything I need. Um, but I think we'll see a big new presence because everyone has the, the oh, build yeah. and battle decks are set to come out, which just has a full new deck in it pretty much. Yeah. Um, and it got just and one item and, and Serena it's, in. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's hyper It's way easier to pick up those trainers than yeah. the rest of that GX shit. Yeah. GX shit. Pokemon V shit. Um, so I think teching against it is a really good idea. Um, I currently don't... I'm back and forth on Crobat VMAX because it's hot. Yeah, uh, or a Drapion. You, know, you always played around when I did the Crobat VMAX for two locals. You played around it with me. Yes, but here's the thing. I am a god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in Lugia, you put down the V anyway because you need to draw. That's its other draw engine. Yeah. You play it so that it rejects prizes and there is no functional way for you to kill the VMAX in one turn unless they hit quad uh, tablets or three tablets yeah, yeah. you can't you've done it I you've listen, done listen. it sometimes you just sack it I'm used to drawing those from Pika Roll where you just go ah yeah. um, but there's that or you play Drapion and both I think are fine I think the VMAX is a little bit better if I had to guess yeah I guess it's um, extending on it's a bit less squishy the other thing is yeah if, if you put the VMAX down, load it up, bring it to the active, and kill a, a VMAX, they just can't kill you. Yeah. It's taken five. 
It's just taking five prizes on its own, which is so good. Um, but it is pass the counter for Mew for Drapion. Yes, and control mirrors, uh, control versions of Mew do play path. Uh, they will set up their full board, set up their hand, and just path, and then just sit there and swing, and switch and swing, and sw- switch and swing, and then hit like um, Avery, take yeah, out the bench. What, yeah, because Drapion is a pretty tough matchup for them, for those decks. So, yeah, if you're playing Mew, maybe think about that. Switch to path, follow the path. It, it's genuinely follow the path. I, even Lugia is playing path now because all they need to do is hit, the, like, flip the V star, and then they can just put up path all day. They don't care after that point. I guess sometimes you care for Radiant Zard, but pfft. if they can't play, you don't care to use Radiant Zard. I don't get mad losing to Radiant Zard. It's Radiant Zard. It's what it's what God intended is Charizard beating all. You get a little mad when you've taken no prizes and they still just load it up like yeah, the way like, it was oh, intended, okay. and they just hit you for two fifty and go. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Um, but I'm very excited. I think our, our first show, at least the event lineup, looks like Brisbane, which they did not give us enough time to prep for. FYI. Um, We've got Oceanics in February. Then we've got Perth in March. You doing Perth? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do Perth. Then we've got Sydney in May. Yeah. And then we have what was in August. So the reason we're doing Perth is because um, there aren't enough events. We, yeah. we don't have cups still. That is like confirmed that we definitely don't have cups at least until the end of the year. Yeah. Maybe next year is, is a 50-50. Um, without cups and leagues... I'm worried that... Oh, so I did... Oh, I, I take this back. I've done the maths. With a top at um, Oceanics, which mm. top 64 gets you the 130 points, um, which is so nice, um, you need to do well at two out of the three regionals. Well, our threshold is 400 at the moment? Our threshold for points? Yeah. Is 250. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So, two Sorry, out of the three I regionals... F- America's 500? America is 500. Gotcha. And I think Europe is 500. If only there's a podcast we discussed this song that I could listen to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we went down the structure. Oh, look at us. We're so good. Yeah. In what, uh, but, the best. Yeah. In what, in what. But uh, you need Pogo's to... Pogo's way simpler. It's like, did you win that? Did you win? You go Worlds. No. Did you lose? Get out. <laughs> it's, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Bins. <laughs> yeah, did like... you come top two? Bin. It's so oh, bastard. I hate it. It's very weird. Just, oh, Kevin's fine. He can top. He can... Oh, we'll, we'll get Big Kevin. No, well, his his. Yeah, we we we'll get, get we'll get Big Kevin. Um, it'll bring some well, diversity. His top didn't to get group. in the Invital Worlds. So it was only yeah, it was only weird. two, and it's double helium. It's That's just awful. so bust smash. Would like to know your location. Yeah, but um, yeah. So <sighs> it, you need to do. I think this will work for VGC as well, depending on their points. It's of the three regionals, you need to top thirty-two twice. And that feels like your... a right threshold for worlds, to be honest. I think I'm, I think I'm okay with that. I am too. It just makes me nervous. No, actually, no. That's a lie. How you've got one event to scrub. Yeah. Um, I forgot. Worlds is, in, is huge because yeah. they can wait. Well, wait. They have cups and leagues in the, in the states. No. So they would have to do. Oh, but, they, but they've got God. a sh- they've got a metric ton of regionals. However, the regionals are like 800 people, so it is very hard for them right now. Yeah, wow. That world's, that general world's crowd's going to be like... It will be small. Yeah, shit. Especially because London had like two years to qualify, remember? It was, an, yeah, extended, it was, was an extended season. I wonder if that's a, by design. The other problem is, and I, going back, fuck you, Pokemon Company, um, they cut our spots for day two. So in the structure, we had top eight of the oceanic region skipped to day two we're now top six mm-hmm. and they're given two to like malaysia and um or just like off off um regions that didn't have any uh day two points ah. skips don't know why you take it from us again we've done better in ratio than most other regions so fuck yourself um but yeah we have we... a low point threshold so i don't really want but I will I also don't say have any general opinions towards complete other countries in the in their standings in Pokemon. Yeah, or and or Yu Gi Oh. Actually, Yu Gi Oh. This isn't even a problem in Pokemon. This seems to be a problem with Australian players. I don't get that. In terms of them just not giving. Yeah, us they, and they we just our events get disregarded. Yeah, everything. Time. And it's a shame Across too board, because like in ratio we actually, do. Actually, I can't speak well. for VGC. Oh, true, me either. I we'll, hope we'll I hope the VGC out. is all about love. That's where I'll yes. be. 
Uh, we have a lot of we have a lot of VGC players coming through that are like really keen on yeah, it. Yeah, no fucking As long as the format's around. good. No, well, um, so so Melbourne will be the first VGC event back. Oceanics, yes. And then do we get them at the rest of the regionals? Yeah. Cool. It'll be, but I assume Perth trip boys. I assume the point threshold will be a lot lower. If the point threshold isn't lower, that's yeah, quite the crowd is for Perth. I that's know. the attitude I actually love to see. I've never been to Perth, but I don't care to go to Perth. <laughs> yeah. But I'll be going for two days. I'll be going to the event yep. and then leaving. Yep. Don't care. <laughs> Could not care less. Oceanics, though. Let's go for a week. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, down, yeah. For, I'm down for a Melbourne trip. Oh, well, yeah. Sydney. And we get Sydney regionals, which we didn't get last time. Yeah. Last season, it, it, to some other place. I'm I hoping to get a few, you, uh, you get a few Pokemon Go people across to that event mm. I'm hoping we can at least go on I, it's because it's always been hard to go into all these other events and going oh well I wasn't in the local scene so there's no way I can get interest to drag people yeah. along here Yeah. here I'm like I think I can get a few Sydney's not that not that far away in the scheme of things it's Olympia Park isn't it yes oh dear god it's gonna two be trips to the Millennium Room um the, do you know where Supernova's held? Oh, yeah, yeah There's yeah. a convention oh. center behind it that's a little bit smaller. They just got that whole thing. Oh. Yeah. But it's the same as Oceanics. They just get the Melbourne Convention Center. That's all they do. So they, they can just... get... Yeah, they got the convention center this year. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's opposed to the Centennial Hall or whatever the hell they did for regionals. Um, Those chairs were really comfy, though. They were really good. I won't lie. It was a very comfy space. But it was very, very cold. Yes, it was. Why was it so cold? I guess I don't know. Winter. Yeah, that's true. But uh, that's, that's I want to try and I want to try and do a little bit of content just traveling, um, which I'll put up somewhere, Ooh. presumably, because I did it for oh. I did it for last Oceanics, and it was really nice to have, especially going into a COVID world, which we didn't know we were going into. To have that blog was like kind of nice. Everyone's like, "Oh, that was fun." Yeah. Anyway, um, and just to get updates from the boys and stuff like this, and then hopefully we're going to go to Worlds anyway, regardless of the fucking invite. Mm -hmm. But. I don't want to miss the participation stuff for, like, the Japanese world's participation stuff will be so good. I, not getting the, the maroon shirt is super disappointing. Not getting the neck. I don't know. want a neck. Actually, I don't I don't, I, oh, wait, because it's the full poster, isn't it? Yeah, the poster mat was pretty cool. Yeah, the dice are also blue mat better. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Blue mat better. Staff mat better. What is it? It's like red. It's like maroon. Of the blue one. Yeah. My God, I want it. Yeah. I tried to snake one. I just couldn't. Oh, I really oh. tried. Um, but, oh, I also think, because we're going to get participation, obviously you get the map for the regionals. I <laughs> was, bless you, I was going to hope that it was Lugia, but the problem is Sao Paulo is probably going to be Lugia, which means we might get like some other stupid shit. I don't know. What we've else? we've had a really Have good we run. Had, like, when's the we, earliest we find out? We don't. We find out when we're at sitting at the table. Okay. That that's. The, but we've had a really good run. If it's anything but Lugia, for, well, for Brisbane we got Arceus, yeah. and then I was so pissed. We got Palkia, but at Melbourne we got Palkia, yeah. and we missed Dialga because we didn't. They uh, an American regionals. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Someone I don't know has a per, uh, has the Dialga one. Surely it wasn't Perth, right? There wasn't a Perth regionals between them. No, uh, I it might have been in um, Worlds. Ah, true. Um, but I know, like, really I, oh, should I sell? Like, should I sell these? I'm like, I can't deal with. I can't deal with getting that stuff. I should have just got. Yeah. Also, they give like all the packs to Pogo and VGC as well. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, and they're like going, yeah, "Who no wants to buy why? a box?" Yeah, yeah. And Kevin got a Kevin got a top cut mat for um, topping Pogo. Yeah, so he sits there. I don't have a top cut mat, and Kevin has a top cut mat. Mm -hmm. He's just too good. He is too good. He's way too good. But yeah, uh, I think we'll be posting up. If Lewis or I do well, I'll also be posting up lists and stuff like this as well. Mm. Um, which you know, all bets assuming. I think. Brisbane will also have a very, very cutback amount of players because they announced it so late. Um, flights there were really bad from Sydney, and I imagine they're a lot worse from Melbourne and a lot worse from Perth and stuff like this. I looked at the flight prices. What so did I, you I, see? So I, I mean, so I, I'm not touching Jetstar. <laughs> Neither. So I went like, for, like so. Also, the flight credit I had from my camp, my last year's Brisbane trip cancelled doesn't like it only pays two thirds of the trip and it's like 
why is this so expensive but on the trip back I haven't booked it yet the train is cheaper than oh, the plane no. uh, oh. train Wait, are you <laughs> doing Brisbane? locals what? are you doing Brisbane yeah. oh shit cool alright yeah I'm, I'm in with you and Lockwood on that for is it Pogo yes or, okay cool have a good time yeah. Um, no, so the the flights up there normally. I think when we went for the Bri- uh, Brisbane regionals just post COVID, I, like I was paying. I think, yeah, right? I was paying and about one eighty one seventy. Um, depending on the flight times, I saw five thirty. Yeah, each yeah. way. Um, it was it was not flexible. I about, looked at that four AM and went, "Is four AM worth fifty dollars?" Yes. <laughs> uh, so what I ended up on Friday, we're at about seven PM yeah. um, for, on Virgin. Don't. I would say this very publicly. Um, uh, so no, we're flying up, uh, and I think it was one ninety, and then on the way back, uh, eight a.m. for like one ninety-five or something. Yeah. So I haven't. So I've, I'm oh, it on, might be I'm a bit. The, no, it was a bit more. I tell a lie. I think I it was. Think like I'm on the same flight. Um, well, I think I'm actually. I might be after, and then yeah, I haven't booked my thing. But home, so I'm genuinely considering Sunday it. night. Monday during the day or Monday Arvo was all five hundred and fifty odd dollars either way. Yeah, everyone wants to get the hell out of Dodge after regionals. I, I think it's well. You remember, it's also schoolies weekend as well. Like, there's so many people coming up. It's it's such train, a bad train, 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 train. I'm not training it. Drive. It's like thirteen so, hours. So yeah, I I my original plan was this for the drive, but I'm still on my provisional license and only going to ninety kilometers an hour. That's awful. Even I do not wish I'm surely, not that committed. Surely, like your time is more valuable than that drive, though. Uh no, I've always wanted. Like I just want to do that drive. That's fine. Sure, fair enough. There's gyms to get. <laughs> it's so awful. Just I'm in egregious. so many territory gyms. That's so egregious. You'll never find me. Um, but okay, then, yeah, we'll, we'll get an update from Pogo as well, which would be really nice. Uh, or with all of us, Actually, like, on a Pogo note as well, uh, there's, we're, due, we're still, like, so how many days in, left in this month are we at? Well, we five days left in this month? Six? Yeah. So six days left in the month, and we still don't know what the next week, what Pokemon movesets will be. Because they generally, for a new season, will do, yeah. will introduce new moves. And so then, we haven't still told us, so we can't even simulate it, and then we have to then get it in time for regionals. So you're not going to, you're just going to get whatever you can in time. I'm hoping they don't break the team I have built. The team I have built is fine. Okay. And I'm hoping that patch will not ruin things. It's a shame, because if the, um, if VGC format's really good, I was actually really keen on VGC. I still haven't terrestrialized. Yeah, that actually, you know what, that does seem but like. But I guess nightmare. I have to if to I'm going to play. Point. That might be how I beat this person. To circle back on on VGC, uh, on the competitive side of it, the only thing we do know is that yeah, terrestrializing will be a thing, and that seems like a nightmare realm because it seems like so much more to take into account for a team, and especially versing a team, unless people just solve it. Unless like similar to sort of protect Shield. tank, a terrestrialized attack. Great question. I think it does. I think I've, I I've thought surely I protect hammer, protect hammer. <laughs> Other way around, hammer protect, hammer protect. Yeah, maybe We're so. Super confused right now about hammer protect. Uh, how how good is that going to be? Because of its like uh, basic garbage. It's, oh, I mean, it's amazing stuff. to do the campaign with because you yeah. do, you don't have to think. You just sixty base. One six, <laughs> but eighty but eighty base attack is or sixty base attack is awful. That's a little bit more than that. I, th- I think it's like sixty, bro. It's awful. Oh, I thought seventy, but anyway, yeah, no, it's that, not no, good. no, no. That one, it still sweeps everything you want. To be fair, if you terrestrialize into it and get double stab, it's like, well, I don't like losing. Well, because it's um, its special defense is quite good. It's just a different version of um, old oh, mate, Gudra. So yeah, it, oh, it, we're talking about the the fairy steel hammer dude. If that wasn't clear, Bulk. chick, yeah. I just had bonk. Yeah. Honks and bonk. Um, and bonk again, stuff bonk. like that and stuff bonk like what protect. I showed you. Um, it's all cool stuff that I have no idea if it's going to play. Mm. I know for Sword and Shield, especially early on, it got solved really quickly and they were just like, here's a base five and then there's one flex spot for your team. Have fun. Um, we didn't have extra legend. We had the two box legendaries. 
Did we have legendaries until the two DLCs? Don't think so. Maybe. Does anyone remember? I I don't remember the Canto birds. Don't remember the dogs thingy 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 thingy. Reggie's went to the patch. They had Landorus and um, that wasn't until no, um, that was, the that was later. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's actually so that's the thing, that, and that's why I think it might have been solved. There's a few, mm. there's a few powerful Pokemon this generation. Yes, uh, more than the last. I it's wonder. just with with terrestrializing and having a couple powerful Pokemon. It's either going to be really diverse, and you're going to have like a brain malfunction trying to work out shit. Could he terrestrialize into this in the middle of this fight, or it's going to be. Oh, no, no, no. This is just undoubtedly the best three or best two or even best one. This is just what we're going to do. Yeah. And then there's going to be one or two flex spots for um, some kind of creativity and like good players to really shine. But it'll be one or the other. I just hope it's... To be fair, if I was playing, I would hope it would just be solved because I don't like thinking that much. Um, but for the VGC format, especially for the early VGC format, I hope it's quite big. Uh, and like quite broad on what people can bring. Yeah, nothing's like, nothing's really occurred to me, but also yeah, I just haven't thought about it. It's too. also hilarious. And also, I haven't it's, finished the game. So. It's hilarious they didn't organize for Brisbane. That's that, and that's uh, that's a weak effort. I won't lie. If people could have had like, you could have pushed Brisbane one more week at a bare minimum, given us more time to get tickets, more time to organize decks, and more time for people to get. Why couldn't they do January? VGC. Absolutely, they could have. January. It, it, Border, bordering Oceanics is a bit of a struggle, but February, March... because is... Yu-Gi-Oh got the Millennium Room. Ah! <laughs> I don't... Ah. Uh, if, if, actually, if it was they're in doing January, February, I'd be messed up. They're doing February, March for Oceanics into regionals anyway. Yeah. So they could have done January. I, I think it was a case of um, they always slated a regionals for us to be in December, and they went, oh, shit. The fact that they're doing it this early is, is ridiculous, though. Wait, what regionals did I miss... The year before, it was not on. Oh yeah, it COVID and that. We did Brisbane at the start of this year, gotcha, right? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, I don't think there's any other big news. No, I'm pretty keen to when we fit both um, get to end screens and post game contents revisiting. Oh yeah, we just go. Yeah, there'll be a, there'll be so much, especially when we look at what teams people want to bring. I know um, Lewis will be helping like Loz and Tom and stuff um, prep. There'll be obviously Tom will be yeah as I said heavy in which would be lovely to see. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to bash out some audio ones. I reckon we can do an audio one Saturday night from Brizzy. Yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, um, I mean, we really can nice. try. And, we can try and get in next week for video if you want. Yeah, yeah, want, yeah. I, I'm super Is free next week. I took out. I took out like six days to um, go to the event and to test with Lewis next week. Actually, we can we can talk about um, the regionals this weekend as well. Oh yeah, so we'll have Sao Paulo again. Sao Paulo, I think, is really going to completely mold what Brisbane looks like. If Sao Paulo is, like, fully dominated by Lost Box, the lists are going to completely change. Yeah. It'll be... Or if, if you see Mew twice in that top eight, people are just going to be taking Drapion. Yeah. And I wouldn't play Mew going into Brisbane. There's... Lugia, I feel like, doesn't have as hard of a, a um, counter as everything else because it just came out. But people working out Double Dip Fangs is going to be huge. I think that it, like it's really oppressive that how we good should that put Stoutland this out is. After, so we don't. The world doesn't know to um, all of our subscribers that are actually on them. And I'm very sorry for that. We are still so inconsistent. Not anymore. We do We got so much stuff. I refuse to let this die. Yeah. We got so much stuff going on. Yeah. So let's do it. We let's can do, do some it. streams. Do some Sun Shield streams. So and shit, fucking no. Scar, Scar, Scar Joe's. Scar Joe's. Scar Joe's stream. I can make, I can stream. make laws do some. Uh, it's fairly easy. Yeah. Um, what is that? Don't worry about it. Shh, shh. Don't worry, don't worry. It's, it's shifty <laughs> under the table deals. Um, oh, also, uh, F, just like a, for anybody still listening, uh, if you got this far in, uh, very quickly Google uh, Scar Joe. Uh, wait, no. Scarlet and Violet dupe glitch. It's going to get patched. Do it now. Yeah. I've yeah. got to think about that too. Also, yeah. Pokemon Go Double Diggle Podcast on Spotify. That's my Pokemon Go podcast. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. What about... Is it Long Diglet now? Yeah, we're going to do... That thing I don't like looking at, I won't lie. What's a... Pl what, what plural could Challenge I... Challenge your heterosexuality, does it? Uh, the, the very f fragmented no, remains wiggles. of my heterosexuality. Wiggles. What would you do? 
Nope, don't think about that. No don't difference. don't think about it too long. You'll get to a place you don't want to be. Don't think about it. How many Pokeballs do you get if you buy 10? Oh, the, uh, the fucking Journeys. Everyone watch Pokemon Journeys. It's worth it. Is that the, the last slash new anime? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. It looked really good. I don't know what happens. We're, there's, there's well, I mean, we do. Episodes. I feel like it was posted everywhere. Nah, they still haven't finished, though. Oh, they're doing... The kid could catch Mew. I thought you were going to say catch, like, a virus. Hmm? Well, I mean, there's is only two more Go? episodes scheduled and they've due to start a new anime. The yeah. kid's name is Go. <laughs> really? This man hasn't watched Journeys. <laughs> Pokemon oh. Go. Uh, bro, they're trying to plug Pokemon Go. What the <laughs> fuck is this? Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> he sometimes does. <laughs> wow. Give me Let's yeah. Go 2. Let's Go Jodo. Yeah, let's Go Meryl. Yeah, Meryl and... Uh, you just do Pichu, yeah? I would actually be super down for it. Yes. The game's so good. Yes. The game, it might be my favorite Pokemon game to come out in the last like 10 years. It was fun, but not not at that price point. I wouldn't pay that much money for it again. That's fair. It looked good, but it was so Give limited. me more content. Yeah. Oh, also, I've heard that apparently the end game content for this game is like... Well, no. No, no, no four people sitting in this room know, but I have heard... Because I was wondering if it's worth resetting for good-natured um, starters and all that. And I was like, I don't care. It's a Pokemon game. And they went, no, the in-game content's like quite good. Hmm. It's no Battle Frontier, but here we are. Fair enough. Well, you can just mint, you just mint it. True. Doesn't matter. You can just find another way to breed it onto it later. It's not that hard. You can watch them as they fuck. Put them in the camp well, and be like... I never see them do it. They're both sleeping. So I don't know how they're doing it. They just. You I watched them. Where you were asleep? Yeah. Well, what? I didn't sleep. That was sleep. I was sitting there watching them. <laughs> then the eggs were in the basket. I didn't see nothing. The How did they do that? Is hard. <laughs> the the mystery of yeah the mystery of poker birth is is quite a. We have to ask Brock. He's the he's the he's the expert in breeding in Pokemon. Expert in Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't, know, I don't think there's anything else by the game that I know or want to fix the fucking game I don't know like we're all accepting it was really fun but like fix your game please. what did they fix first the the glitches or nah. the dupe <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they, you know what they definitely fixed the dupe first guaranteed oh, oh well yeah. we'll see but uh, as I said we'll do one Thursday I think we can slot in no problem yeah. uh, or Wednesday even uh, I can try and convince Lewis to come or we say we're going to test here at this table and this is just set up and as we start testing we'll be like hey welcome back to the and we'll just trap him <laughs> yeah we can trap him you know that wouldn't work he would just straight up walk no out. no no because it's going to be like this <laughs> and I'll be like so what do you think of Sao Paulo and he's going to be like oh yeah no, no, no. and I'll go yeah, yeah what else you need Dan on like the switch that just turns on the lights and the <laughs> yeah lights at the same time. I'll strap him to the chair it's alright <laughs> Ice cream, yeah. Okay, I'm I thought you were going to come in frame in your Udi. Oh, I thought I was about to get kidnapped. Oh, I thought we were start practicing kidnapping lures. Good. But, oh, good luck to all the Australian players. By the way, going to Sao Paulo, I think it's like Jeremy, Nat, Brent, um, Kylan. Anybody who could afford to pay fucking all of that money, a 31 hour trip at a minimum to go to Sao Paulo. Good luck. Uh, hope bring it home for the boys. Um, and get ahead on points because apparently you can go to as many ICs as possible and they all count towards your point total no matter what so get those points should have done London Open yep we know now and we'll do it for Japan I was literally in London Open yep should have done why it why don't they do points pass downs to very last you would have to be fair you would have got the um, travel award for Sao Paulo so you could be in Brazil right now this is Brazil you go to Brazil. Brazil. I was so like, I was so focused on getting that Gumi that day. <laughs> In Pokemon, I Go. traded a trip to Bra to Brazil for a Gumi. Did you get the Gumi? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's in the back seat of my car. Good. Scrapped in. <laughs> He's safe. He's got a wicked heart. 